So today on Project Shop, we have this, what I can only assume is some type of medical computer, printer, or something. I'm not sure. It has a lot of aluminum and a lot of metal. Oh, look, it's got color control. Yeah, so this obviously was some type of something or other. I don't know, but we're going to scrap it because um, a lot of this, I think this whole base pretty much, not that can, all of this, that, except for that, all that's aluminum, non-magnetic, non-magnetic. A lot of aluminum so i'm not sure um what we're going to get out of it if we're going to get any gold fingerboards i mean that's kind of what i thought might be in here because this looks like a computer it looks like this is where the stuff would be i don't know but it does have these special little two dot things and then i was cleaning up the other day I'm pretty sure I think I got this from Harbor Freight. I have like a whole kit of those two prong things. And that's the one right there. So being that I only have one, I hope we don't shear them off. I might put it in a drill and not the impact driver just so it doesn't hit hard. You know, the drill you can kind of adjust how much crush you want to give to it so um first thing we're going to do is weigh it and get a weigh on this thing see how much if we just sold it as is i'm sure they take this as like uh shred nine cents a pound um I'll just throw this out now we don't need this So we'll get a difference on whether or not it was actually worth taking apart. I'm looking at this body and I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth taking apart. Let's get a time. So it's 355. Let's get a weigh in on this thing. Now this isn't very heavy at all. I think it's like seven and a half cents. Uh, we're looking at like what I seven dollars and twelve cents. Pretty sure this. That's one thing. And then let's see what we got here. See, this is what I saw before. That's extruded aluminum. I think that right there is going to be worth uh, taking this thing apart so let's get this thing off I need to find me a little chair we'll be right back okay I got me a chair and we're going to use the impact Allen set that was sent to me by one of my wonderful subscribers Wait. Oh, it's not stainless. That, and that's heavy. I'm gonna assume that's cast. I don't think that can be extruded because of the shape. So, yeah, that sounds like cast. Um, we got some Phillips. I don't know how this comes apart. We need another gun. 
Also, these nice gold Phillips were sent to me. We've been putting them to use, they're pretty good. Oh, that's steel. Price of hardware, I might keep these. A big cast base. Find a uh, a wrench. These are plastic casts. Look, they got locks on them. That's cool. I don't know. I might keep these. You never know. I have a whole drawer full of casters. Not bad. This one's kind of sweet. We'll probably just throw them with the shred. Okay. And that is a huge piece of cast aluminum. We got a cast pile going. Now. I really don't see how this, uh, oh man, wow, just enough room to fit down in there. piece of extruded look at that you can always tell extrusion because of the way um, you know anything like that with these things there's no way you're gonna cast that and get the cast out this is pushed out of a mold or something pretty incredible so that might be worth seven dollars right there okay now Let's move on to this thing. I only have one of these 
I'm gonna put the clutch on. It's actually a really nice piece of aluminum. That's probably, you know what? That's a keeper. We're gonna weigh it up, but I'm keeping that. Let's go in the, in the metal rack. See what else we got. Yeah, that's like polished aluminum. And this whole face, I don't know what this is. <clears throat> See if we can give it a little persuasion. There we go. That, I think that's aluminum glued to plastic. Yeah. Nice piece of aluminum. Let's see here. More aluminum glued. Now. I guess we're gonna have to work on the back. Funny how that aluminum had specialty screws, but back here it's just like regular screws. More tin. Yeah, it's definitely some kind of computer setup. Look at that. Oh, wrong one. We got gold fingers, man. What do you think about that? Is that low grade, mid grade, high grade? Definitely looks like a lot of gold on there. Got a little fan, got a little heat sink, a bunch of little things. Now I have a whole drum full of this somewhere. And then this big old board in here, let's see if we can um, get this apart further. Looks like it's got some rivets we might need to drill. Uh, some type of hard drive right here. Is that where the money's at? This thing is actually quite heavy. More gold. What do you think of that? Hitachi Death Star. 160 gigabyte. Does any of that mean anything? I don't know if this camera's gonna work. Made in China for Hitachi Global Storage Technologies. This thing is heavy. I wonder what's in there. Alright, moving along. This thing down here. That's actually prepared steel. Uh, let's see. 
some more stuff up there. Looks like stainless, some type of stainless weather stripping. Interesting. There's some down here too. Um, okay. I almost want to get this thing apart. I feel like this thing would pop out somehow. But it looks like there's a bunch of uh, rivets. about to get the hammer treatment. Oh, speak of the devil. Like more of that stainless stuff or whatever that is huh that's interesting it's like a almost like a stainless mesh it looks like non-magnetic I wonder if this stuff is stainless it might be this looks like stainless with a piece of metal no Magnetic, okay. Send that shit straight to the scrap dog. All right, what do we else we got here? Oh, I bet you there's a transformer in there. Um, Okay, of course the GoPro died and uh, it got hot and shut off, so we got the wide angle. Probably a little excessive. Oh, look at all them goodies. All kinds of stuff in there. What do we got? Man, we got heat sinks, transformers, all the goodies. Let's see if we can pull that whole board out. Now, I'm not a big, that's not even worth really messing with, we'll send that with the steel, 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 
steel, more steel. Um, I'm not a big computer board guy. Look at that big knot of copper. But would that be a board by itself? Would that be considered anything? Look at all the stuff that's in there. It's like tons of copper. Some big old extruded heat sinks. I don't know, we'll set that aside with our, our pile of boards here. Maybe it's worth more just as it is. can't get this board off. And there you have it. What do you think about that board? There's a couple cards here. Gold fingers. There's two of them. Now do you separate these? Sell them separate? Or keep it with the board? What do you think about that board? Did we cut the copper wire? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the copper wire. <clears throat> I guess we don't need to cut it. Are they worth more with the wire? Look at that nice anodized blue heat sink. That's cool. Okay. We got one more thing. Well maybe two. I don't know what this is up here. Let's see if I can't get that out of there. I really don't think it's anything other than it looks like it's got gold fingers though. So we're gonna try. about that oh it looks like some type of a CD drive are they worth anything or is that garbage it's got gold fingers back there okay and there's actually one more board up in here somewhere it looks like possibly low grade it's like it's a number one Uh, 
Oh, it looks like that was the, uh, that was the screen or something. Yeah. We got buttons. I don't know, man. It looks like gold. Is that worth anything? I don't know. We'll just throw it with the other stuff. Let's, uh, let's put our two back on. but I can go with the shred. That's all aluminum. A little wire. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's one fan here. Looks like. Oh, that was easy. 12 volt DC. Oh man. Okay. Let's let's get away up on the steel. Or we got aluminum on there now. Let's weigh uh cast. This is my favorite right here. Twelve pounds of extrusion. And then all the steel. how much this is worth. Might be different grades, different prices. But we have 10 pounds of computer boards. We're just going to put it as, uh, I mean, I don't even know. We'll put it as sheet for now. But I have no idea what this stuff is worth. And then we have 
I mean, that's like, that's like negligible. I don't even know if this is going to register. Three pounds of number two insulated. It's like not even half a half a pound. Okay. That actually was pretty simple. I don't remember what time I started, but it was probably an hour's worth of work there. If that. So let me run them numbers real quick and we'll see if it was worth it. Okay, so here are the numbers for that. I went and looked at the time I started at like 3.55 and ended at 3.02. Now remember, I did have an issue with my camera shutting off. I probably spent two or three minutes, maybe even five minutes uh, dealing with that. So let's just say that took me 30 minutes to break that down. Uh, we had 13 pounds of cast, $8.45. I got 65 cents. Sheet aluminum, 11 pounds, 60 cents a, or, uh, 60 cents a pound, 6.60. Extruded 12 12 pounds 75 cents a pound nine dollars number two insulated uh, Three pounds at a dollar ten three thirty electric motors half a pound at 35 cents a pound 17 cents sheet metal 50 pounds uh, Seven and a half cents a pound 375 and the computer boards. Maybe they're worth more I have no idea, but I'm just gonna put what I know for a fact I can get for them which is sheet metal uh, seven and a half cents 75 cents I'm sure if I just pulled those things off right here, I'd get more than that. But um, for a total of 32.02 in 30 minutes, that's not bad. Now, uh, the difference of if you just sold it off as is, 7 and a 12, uh, you're, you're, with, uh, you're left with $24.90. So basically, you can almost make 50 bucks an hour uh, taking apart printers or computers i mean i don't know I, i'm sure all computers and stuff are different but that looked like some type of medical apparatus so hey i'm gonna keep this stuff i got a barrel full of goldfinger boards let me know what you guys think of uh you know all this stuff this thing's pretty heavy right here this thing would that be look at look at that crazy amount of solder right there <laughs> What do you think that would be? Low grade? Shreddable? I don't know. Shreddable? How about that one? That's, it looks like it's got a little bit of gold in it. CD drives, are they worth anything? And then that big old boy, that thing's heavy. What would that be considered? Mid grade, low grade, no grade? <laughs> anyway, if you come this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more micro scrap and mayhem we're going to start going through all of this stuff uh literally probably drum by drum and see what we get out of it I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard.
Not very often we get some 1500 waters. Just look at the difference. That's a 15. That's a thousand. She got some girth to it. <laughs>